Hey guys! Welcome to the What Happened channel. Today, we're going to explore the dark world of serial killers who posed as ordinary people, deceiving everyone around them. Let's dive into these chilling cases and find out how these criminals managed to hide their true identities for so long. Ready? Let's go! Herb Baumeister Herb Baumeister was a successful businessman and father of three, seemingly leading a normal life. However, he had a dark side. Baumeister is suspected of having killed at least 11 men in the 1990s, burying their bodies on his Indiana property. He was never tried for his crimes as he committed suicide in 1996 before being arrested. Israel Keys Israel Keyes was a self-employed contractor and United States Army veteran who led a seemingly ordinary life in Alaska. Keyes is known to have committed at least three murders between 2001 and 2012, but he may have been responsible for many more. He carefully planned his crimes and buried murder kits in various locations across the United States. Keyes was arrested in 2012 and committed suicide in prison before being tried. Peter Sutcliffe Peter Sutcliffe, known as the Yorkshire Ripper, was a married truck driver who led a seemingly ordinary life. He killed 13 women and attempted to murder seven more between 1975 and 1980 in England. Sutcliffe was arrested in 1981 and sentenced to life in prison. He died in prison in 2020. Richard Kuklinski Richard Kuklinski, also known as the Iceman, was a hitman who worked for the Mafia. Married with three children, he led a double life and managed to separate his family life from his criminal career. Kuklinski claimed to have killed over 100 people between 1948 and 1986. He was arrested in 1986 and sentenced to life in prison, where he died in 2006. Andrei Chikatilo Andrei Chikatilo, known as the Butcher of Rostov, was a school teacher and former engineer. He killed at least 52 women and children in the Soviet Union between 1978 and 1990. Chikatilo was arrested in 1990 and sentenced to death in 1992. It was executed in 1994. Charles Cullen Charles Cullen was a nurse who worked in several hospitals in the states of New Jersey and Pennsylvania. He murdered between 29 and 40 patients, administering lethal drugs without anyone suspecting his actions. Cullen was arrested in 2003 and sentenced to life in prison. Rodney Alcala Rodney Alcala aka The Killer of the Dating Game was an accomplished photographer and appeared on a TV show called The Dating Game in 1978. At the time, he had already killed at least two women. Alcala was convicted of murdering seven women between 1971 and 1979, but the number of victims is believed to be much higher. He was sentenced to death and died in prison in 2021. Harold Shipman Harold Shipman, known as Dr. Death, was a respected family doctor in the United Kingdom. It is estimated that he killed more than 200 patients, mostly elderly people, between 1975 and 1998. Shipman administered high doses of morphine to his victims and forged death certificates to cover up his actions. He was arrested in 1998 and committed suicide in prison in 2004. These cases show how frighteningly easy it is for serial killers to hide in our society, posing as ordinary people and leading seemingly normal lives. Many of them were considered respectable members of the community and never aroused suspicion. Now, we want to know your opinion, which of these cases shocked you the most? Leave your comments below and share this video with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the What Happened channel for more intriguing and chilling stories like this one. Until next time, folks.